Hi, this is Andy Nathan from andynathan.net. I'm going to talk today about the Aweber WordPress plugin. What we're going to be doing today is why it's a cool thing to use, how to use it, and we're just going to go through the basic steps for getting it started. So just so you know, uh, Aweber, really awesome. You want to sign up for it. Here's the sign up page. And actually, you could also go below to the bottom of this post where it says uh, get started, take a test drive, and you can do a test drive with Aweber, and you can see how it works and uh, the benefits of using Aweber. Additionally, once you've signed up, I'm going to walk you through the process, like you're going to be setting up a new account. So then we're going to log in, and once you sign up, I'm going to just use a current list that I have right now. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to the top here. There's some tabs up at the top. You're going to see web forms. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a new web form. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly because I don't want to sit here the entire time and talk about how to create web forms. We could talk about that another time. But what you're going to do is you're going to create a web form. We're going to just leave this default 826403. What's this for? It's a test and then it already has my pertinent information in there when you set up an account you'll have to set up your account settings including your address address is very important with email marketing because people have to know where you where you're coming from or where you're based out of especially in the United States also if you want to get notifications you could put a notification in here and I can put Andy at AndyNathan.net that's where you can notify me and I just add that and I could add as many people as I want to this notification list now the next thing they're gonna say is hey enter a list name you can watch a video I'm not gonna watch the video right now it's about 30 seconds so then the next step here as you can see the next step here as you can see is the confirmation message when people sign up you want to give them a confirmation I just generally use the general confirmation you could insert like their name uh, or some other feature that you want just personalize a little bit but you don't have to it's up to you plus the other big thing is where do you want them to go afterwards so maybe I want people to go back to my site after they sign up I just click in the URL save settings and there you go now the next thing is there'll be a if you want to change the message hey you know obviously you don't want default 18 uh, 26 403 for the group so you could actually change what it says there so just keep that in mind and make sure you save everything that you do one of the things with WordPress is, or with Aweber is that they want to make sure that everything's saved at different times so definitely go through and save everything then the next step is to create a welcome email so we're gonna do that step and we can create whatever we want let's just say thanks for signing up and you want to create a subject um, just create whatever you want in the email right now we can talk about email marketing in terms of the follow-up list later on but thanks for signing up thank you very much for signing up to the default list and then you can give them a present here's your present and then you can just say go to http andynathan.net or wherever you want to send them and you want to create a full letter here but this is just to give you a summary of what you want to put in there some bullet points and then just sign put your name at the end so the next step once you have that is you want to create a web form so you're going to go do this step very simple there and what you're going to do when you do this step is you could actually customize a web form so what I'm gonna do is I could edit the header I'm just gonna keep this the way it is right now because I don't want to start going through all the different options here on Aweber because that's not the point of this exercise but you could actually customize it do whatever you want save the form you always have to save the form when you're going through and you go go next step and then it leads you to the basic settings what do you want to call the form my web form I'm just gonna call this default form just for record purposes here so I know where to find it later on then if I want to have a different type of thank you page if I want to have an audio version I could actually have an audio player and maybe have some type of uh, podcast or something like that or I could have a video co uh, confirmation you could choose your confirmations and your thank you pages and you could also choose where they go for the subscribe page as well 
the next thing that you want to do is you're going to go go to step three now what was happening and this is why it's so cool with what they're doing and I'm going to show you this in a second used to be that you'd have to either have your web designer do it or you install your form using the just copy and pasting like raw HTML code or a JavaScript snippet and it was really hard to do it because it wasn't really set up right on a Weber to accept that you actually had to have special plugins well what a Weber did was they said hey forget this we're gonna create our own plugin for this so they did and I'm going to show you the plugin right now. So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to click Add New for Plugins. And we're going to go AWeber Web Forms. And we're going to click Install Now. You sure you want to install this plugin? OK. Next, we're going to click Activate Plugin. Once we activate the plugin, we're going to go, we want to go to the settings. See how they actually say here, requires authentic authentication. So you're going to go, you'll need to go to settings. So we go to settings and we're going to click here to get your authorization code. And it actually opens up into a Weber. See how this all works together as one pretty picture. It gives a nice little authorization code here. Success. We copy that authorization code from a Weber and we go make connection. Now, all we need to do is see where it says next, go to widgets page. We go widgets page. And you're going to see here, I have to find out, ah, here it is. I already had it in here. I de uninstalled and then reinstalled. But you just drag it if you don't have it, like I said before. I'm going to go AWeber form. I'm going to go select a list. Remember, we're default 18262, 18.26.403. We're going to select a form, we're going to select default form, and then we're going to click save. And then what you can see is, is that if I wanted to go to my site, so I'm going to click, I'm going to refresh my screen here. All of a sudden, I, could, I actually went to the default form. Now if I want to switch back to my Andy Nathan one, my regular one, all I need to do is go down into the list on WordPress. I don't have to go back on AWeber and I'm just going to go Andy Nathan sign up. And I click that again and I click save and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to refresh this page and when I refresh it, it goes back to the original one. So once you've set it up, you don't have to keep going back to AWeber. You can do everything here on WordPress. That's the beauty of this plugin. It allows you to do everything on WordPress and it makes your life easier so you can switch back and forth. If you have a few different forms on AWeber, this is really nice so you can switch back and forth between those forms. So anyways, this is Andy Nathan from andynathan.net. Just wanted to thank you for uh, taking the time to understand how the AWeber plugin, pr AWeber pr uh, plugin, WordPress plugin works. And thank you very much. Looking forward to talking to you soon at andynathan.net. Thanks. Bye.